Okay, so take your first chord, which is going to be your filler, and then the next chord along is going to be your first knot. While holding the filler, pass that first chord over the top and then pass it through the loop that you've just made. Keep your filler cord in your right hand nice and sturdy and push that knot to the top. That's half of a clove hitch knot. Do the same again over the top and through the loop and pull it tight and push it towards its partner and that is your full clove hitch knot. That's the first one. Take your next chord, which is actually a colour, and do the same again. Over the top, through the loop, and then push it up to the top. That's the first half, so do that again, and you've got the second half of your knot. So we've now done two clove hitch knots on the diagonal. We're now... There's one and there's two. <laughs> We're now going to go back, reset and take what is now in the first position, that's this chord. So the first chord is going to come across as the filler and we'll take the next chord along, over the top, through the loop and pull it tight and push it right up there. Get those nice and tight each time, there we go. And again that's the second half, so we've created another knot. One, two and then one on its own. We're going to move along now and we're going to take the seventh chord in the sequence. It's actually the first chord of that second set of three that we created. Over the top it over the top again to make the complete knot and can you see we did that with the next chord along so we took that seventh chord and then used the eighth to create that knot we're now getting the ninth chord and creating the next knot we're only going to do two so this is the last of this bit second half of the knot, so we've got that second knot. Okay, so reset, tidy up. We're going to go backwards now. We're going to go back a couple of strands to what is the fifth chord. Can you see it's the last of the lark's heads on that first set of three? And we're going to use that to come diagonally over to the right and we're going to make three knots with the next three strands. That's these ones. So here we go. This is the first one. and tight. Here's the second one. And finally we'll take that third one which is a coloured chord and create the third knot. So in that little section we did two on the previous one and then we've just done three knots on the next one. So you can see two diagonal sets there of knots. Moving along we're going to go to the next set and you see it's the next set of three lark's heads. And we've got that first strand coming across and we're going to make two knots on the diagonal. So this is the first one. And 
moving along to the next strand, which is a colour, to create the second knot. So if you imagine those groups of three, we're doing the same thing to each of the groups of three. Now we've got to go back two strands. Remember we did that last time. There's our two from that one. We're going to go back two strands. There we go. Pass that one diagonally to the right. And we're going to make three knots with those strands there. Here's the last one, just to finish that set. And you've completed another pair of knots. Okay, now these last two strands at the end need tidying up as well. So we'll cross one over the other and just create one of those clove hitch knots. So that's the first half. And this is the second half. That just tidies up that end for that row. Okay, so on this next row, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. Take the fifth chord as your filler, and you're gonna take it to the left and hold it in your left hand. We're gonna work the knots with these four chords next to it, starting with the closest, which is a color. Notice we've got color, white, white, color. <laughs> that sequence is gonna repeat itself all the way along this row, so remember that. So here's the first knot with the color nearest to the filler cord. So we're gonna take the white cord and create the second knot. Remember, we're going in the opposite direction, so we're moving towards the left. And the third knot. And finally, the fourth knot. Get the pen out of the way. <laughs> Okay, so now we're taking the sixth chord and moving that along to the left and we're going to work four knots onto that filler chord with the same strands that we just used. So here's the first one with that colour and we're still working along that filler chord towards the left. So that's the first one. 
here's the second chord with a white chord. Now we're speeding up the video because we are repeating ourselves and you know what you're doing. So here's the third. By now you've got used to making these knots. So it's just a case of following the pattern. And here's the fourth with the last colour. And that's given us two parallel diagonals, if you like. I'm going to move along. We need to find that pattern again. Colour, white, white, colour. And move along, find the tenth chord to be your filler. And he's going along to the left. That was quite quick, but that was the first one. Here's the second knot. And here's the third. And finally, the fourth knot on that last coloured strand. Go along to number 11 now, find that one to be your filler. There's your four that you're going to use for knots and here's number 11 coming across to be the filler cord and create four knots just as you've done before along that diagonal. Number one, number two, number three and number four on the colour to finish. Now you've guessed it, move those along and find your next set. Here they are, colour, white, white, colour. Take the cord from the right side of those and use that as your filler to create four knots on that diagonal, travelling to the left. Here's the second knot. Here's the third. And here's the fourth. Ooh, move it along. Sometimes you have to jig things a little bit. Just so you can make sure you're seeing those strands. Okay, there's that last cord coming across as our filler. And we'll do four knots again onto that diagonal across. You should be able to see that we are forming three diamonds with these. I don't know if you can see that yet, but three diamonds are just appearing in our pattern now. Okay, so give yourself a straighten up, get those strands all in the right order. You don't want them crossing over and getting confused. So here we go, we're gonna go for the next row. We take the first three and this time our filler cord is going to go over to the right because remember we work in the opposite direction to the row we did before. Take the next cord to create your first knot. That's it, make sure we've got it going the right way. Your filler cord stays nice and straight and the working cord is what creates the coil and the knot. So here we go, this is the second clove hitch knot we're creating on this same diagonal. Reset, bring the first chord over and you're just going to do the one knot this time. Six this is the exact process we did right at the very beginning of the pattern. So we're starting to repeat ourselves here. So there we go, there's that little partial diamond on the left. Go along, find your four in that pattern, colour, white, white colour, and bring the next one across and eventually you'll do that other one as well. So here's the first one comes across, make your knot, remember we're working to the right this time on the diagonal. Go to your next strand, create the second knot. 
go to your third strand and make the third knot. And here's the fourth. Back we go to the beginning of that section, find the other diagonal filler diagonally. Come along, find your pattern of four strands and the two to the left of it, they're going to be your fillers. Take the first one, the nearest one, and we'll do four knots again. This is all repetition and in a moment I'm just going to leave you to watch the video and follow along. You can pause, you can rewind, you can even slow it down on YouTube. If you just look to the top there is a setting where you can slow it down so this is our third knot and finally the fourth knot on this section and I'll just talk you through the very last part of this row in a moment we've just got to do the second half of this so here's that other filler work your first knot onto that filler cord second knot third knot. You can see the pattern coming together now can't you? There's the fourth. Okay now we've got these three sticking out the end so take the first of those whites that's nearest your colour. Create a knot just as before, just as you always have with this pattern and leave that. Then take the second white one and you're going to do a knot onto there and a second knot onto that same diagonal because what you're actually doing is creating a partial diamond off the side. Imagine it was carrying on but it's not. Okay, here we go, we're back to our nice four here on the left and our two filler cords coming towards the left and we're going to work those in. See if you can just follow what's going on with the video.
in a minute you can see I have one chord that is really short. Here it is. Look at this little guy. I left it far too short. That was my fault when I was measuring the chords. But I think you won't have this issue because your chords were measured a little bit more accurately and not in a rush. So, but if that happens, there are ways around it and hopefully I can show you how well hidden it gets towards the end of the piece. So as we come to the end of this row, we now have to just tie off these diamonds. Find these white bits, the two strands that show the end of the diamond on this bit. You're going to use those to tie off. It's exactly the same knot. It's just that you're only going to do it with these two and the colour cord. There's that second knot with the coloured cord. So go along to your next two strands in the next diamond. And you're using the white as your filler cord and tying a knot with the coloured cord and go to your second white cord as an, a filler and do a, a single knot on that one and that just completes the diamond shape. There we go and there's just one more of those to the right of us to finish that off. Now this one's tricky because it's that silly, silly little strand. So I was struggling a bit to get that one. Look how short he is. Ugh, never mind. But this is the last two. So these two white cords we're gonna use as our fillers with the color cord making the knot. And that just completes the third diamond on that row. Okay, so this is the point where we're going to tie off these three sections um, to finish our piece. We're going to get a spare bit of thread, I've cut a little bit here, and I'm splitting it down the middle so it's not as thick, it's two strands instead of the four that are twisted together. So here's the one I'm using, and I'm just going to hold about two inches, grab our piece that we're going to wrap, and I'm going to get about two inches of an end pointing upwards like that and grip the rest under my thumb. I'm going to create a loop just here underneath and then I'm going to take the other end around and wrap around all of that bunch of strands tight as I can, keeping the loop underneath that wrap and obviously that two inch bit poking out at the top. Then I need to find the loop just as I do my last wrap, maybe three or four times I've done. And I bring that loose end through the loop and just hold on to it. Nice and tightly with that hand now. And then I need to tighten that loop. And the way we do that, 
seconds come through and the way we do that is we pull this cord at the top and that brings that loop tight can you see that it's and then it will disappear under the wrap that you've just done and pull that loose thread under the wrap as well so it's completely wedged under there and if you've wrapped nice and tightly that's not going to go anywhere at all okay and you can just jig it about give it a bit of a shove and then we just need to cut these ends off so go as close as you dare and take off those two ends be careful you don't cut anything else that's one we need to repeat that on the other three areas. Remember this middle one is going to have that really short bit so we must make sure we trap that short bit underneath our next wrap. Okay so this is um, the last finishing touches. I've done all three of the binding um, knots. I'm just trying to find the shortest, obviously not including that silly spriggity bit, but the shortest length, so that that's roughly where I'm gonna um, trim to. Okay, so you're gonna need to pick off any of the tape that might be in the way. So any of the ends that have tape, try and get as much of that off as possible because it will only hinder the next step and quite frankly honestly this is the best bit a final trim just to tidy up those ends make them nice and even it doesn't have to be exact but this is where you can really neaten up and give it the finishing touch <laughs>